Hello, it's Mike with Litchfield Beekeeping, and today is April 19th. And finally, finally, our box of bees is here. And just in time, if you can see, our apple trees are about ready to bloom. So as soon as we get these bees installed, they'll be able to uh, get to work and pollinate my trees. So I'm going to take you back to our the beginnings of our bee yard and uh, install these bees and, and hopefully do it properly. Okay, we're back here now. Um, hopefully there's not too much wind uh, interfering with the sound. Uh, what we're looking at here is something a little bit different than what I had been planning on, I guess. We had, you know, read all the, the blogs, watched all the videos of the other box of bees, the wooden one, and uh, here we have something that's different. This is a bee bus, b-bus.com, and plastic bee box, unlike the others where you take the can out and that's the only opening that you have to let the bees out, these sides actually open up with your hive tool and you can pour them right out. So we'll see how that works. Uh, this is my first hive that I'm installing, so um, <laughs> we'll see how things go. My wife was hoping to be here, but unfortunately she had to work. Uh, it's about 55 degrees out, um, maybe a little bit too chilly, but the, the people at Queen Wright Colonies in Spencer, Ohio, where I got my bees, so this is a good time. It uh, it's a good time, good good temperature for the bees. Um, they're going to be a little bit more sluggish, uh, less likely to uh, be in a bad mood. So I'll get the camera set up and we'll go through uh, installing these bees. I will say that uh, they also provide some fondant that I'll have to tuck into the the queen box uh, after I get the cork out. Uh, that's what they use versus using a, you know, a small marshmallow or in some cases where that fondant's or that candy is already uh, in the bee box. So let's see how this goes. Well, unfortunately, it was pretty windy, so I'm going to do a voiceover for you. So what I'm doing here is I'm just trying to get the bees down in the box uh, so that I can get the feed can out and. Being a little nervous the first time around, I really didn't want to drop that uh, queen cage down into the box. I also didn't want to release too many bees. You'll note that I don't have my veil down. Something that I, I figured out uh, shortly after the first dozen bees came out of that box. I correct it later, but it was kind of comical as I thought about, okay, how do I undo this and go back and re-record this section? I decided I'd just go on, and if I get stung, well, then I get stung, and it's a lesson learned, but I didn't. I did have a particular uh, bee that liked to kind of fly in my face, stare at me a little bit. Um, but anyway, no stings, we're fine. Here I'm just uh, putting some sugar water on the, the bee box itself. The, the bees themselves seem to get really riled up after I took clean out. I wanted to settle them down, give them something else to do. So they're getting a little sugar water to, to uh, munch on. And then I'm going to uh, work to get the cork out of this box. You'll note that I almost tried to put this thing in uh, without uh, putting in the fondant. I forgot that I was trying to rush through. But I've taken the cork out uh, and now I'm, I'm really kind of stuffing that fondant down into that hole, something that the bees can, can eat through later on. Uh, it's pretty uneventful. Uh, the only problem I did have is trying to sandwich that uh, queen cage in between a couple of the frames. The, the wire that, that they gave me uh, didn't really go over the top. And what I ended up doing is I took some of that fondant and shoved it in each on each side of that box so that I could use it to kind of stick itself in and then I wrap the uh, the wire over the top of the frame. So far so good. Uh, we'll move on to shaking the bees into the box which is pretty fun. Well I attempted to 
use the original sound that that I had there, but unfortunately the wind just picked up. And oddly, it didn't feel all that that windy. Apparently, it was just windy across the mic of the GoPro camera. But anyway, at this point, I've got my bail down. Uh, I'm going to start working on getting this this box open. The video that they show online at bbus.com, by the way, very, very, very horrible audio, but regardless, the guy just opens up the box with, with no problem whatsoever. This was quite a struggle. It may have been that, you know, it's the first time this box was open. Uh, who knows? But it was, it was difficult. At one point, I just about cut myself on my brand new hive tool. Nice sharp edge, but uh, managed to make the correction. Um, you just have to work at it. It was just, just trying to get the, the blade in there. Maybe if I would have had a thinner uh, hive tool, I could have done it a little bit simpler, but eventually I did get it out. Um, you know, the, the thing that I, I probably would have done differently is I probably would have worked on top of my hive box just so that there is no risk of me, you know, opening up that box right now and, and uh, all the bees just kind of pouring out onto my foot or onto the ground. Uh, we didn't have that problem, but certainly something to consider when you're we're working on this. Still working, still trying, still trying to pry that out. Eventually it does seem to release a little bit. We'll see that here shortly. Now the big reveal. Decided to take one more frame out. Felt that it was uh, it was necessary. One big big shake here, and a, a boatload of bees come flying out. Uh, it's, it's quite exhilarating when you have uh, that many insects flying around you. Uh, wasn't a problem. Wasn't something that uh, freaked me out. It's just kind of kind of interesting the whole process. I did sh have to shake it out. I, I almost laid it there uh, in front of the hive without looking inside, but when I did look inside, boy, there was, there was still a ton of bees in there. So it took a little bit of time to knock some more out, put it out in front here uh, so that those, those bees can, can get in there. And now I'm going to uh, gently uh, put the frames back in uh, trying not to crush the bees. I think that if there's any anxiety in this, this is the the part where where people get anxious, and I and I felt that you know prior to. Uh, getting the bees, I thought, you know, how are we going to deal with this? Are we going to have any problems? But uh, oddly, it was very, very uneventful. There, you know, it went just as as all the other uh, videos show. I'm going to give you a quick shot of, you know, what it looks like in the box. Uh, unfortunately, I sh should have done this when when I was pouring the bees in. That's where a second set of hands comes in to help. You can't really see anything in there uh, other than the bees are climbing up some of the frames. Uh, so I got this this all buttoned up and it, like I said it was just there was really nothing to it. It, it was fairly simple. Right here, I'm, I'm just talking about the the front uh, feeder here. Originally, I was looking to purchase a uh, one of those ultimate hive top feeders, and when I was at the uh, the store, the dealer locally to us, they suggested that I, I go with the uh, just the the front uh, hive feeder. Said it's one, it's inexpensive. Two, you're training the bees to go down for food, not up for food. Um, they they seem to make a pretty good argument for that. Uh, although I, I, I think I'm still going to buy the ultimate high feeder or something to have. Uh, we'll see how 
our local varmints deal with this. Well, I thought I'd give you a nice parting shot of the hive. Uh, I did check the hive throughout the day and, and what I did notice is a lot of activity. First of all, if the, the bees were making their orientation flight, uh, going up, circling, coming back down, some were going further and further out as I watched. Uh, some were actually finding uh, the dandelions and uh, already jumping on those. It seemed like uh, majority, at least initially, were all trying to get in through the little crack next to the the hive feeder. Uh, eventually, though, they started going in and out through the, the one area. Uh, so that that's it. It was it was very enjoyable, very good experience. I, I look forward to. Uh, the nooks that we're going to get, as I stated in a previous video, we are going to get a nook that's going to sit next to this one. Um, those should come somewhere around the 1st to mid-May uh, when they're ready. And then we're putting one at my in-law's house uh, for their garden. Uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop me a note below. Uh, like the page if you, if you like it. Uh, Keep an eye on us. We're going to keep videos going throughout the season and uh, share our experiences as well as our mistakes. You'll get to enjoy those along with us. Uh, that's it. Enjoy your bee summer. Have a great day. This is Mike from Litchfield, 